Point was really pivotal in my development as a filmmaker, you know, and it's hard to be able to articulate all those little pieces along the way that add up to who you are, but I'm old enough to look back now and understand how important that is. I actually grew up in Stevens Point, and uh, you know, when I grew up, one of the things I started doing when I was a very young kid was watching movies on television. And a lot of the movies just started to give me a window into a world beyond point. There's one person I still remember quite strongly and fondly from my time at point, and that was Roger Bolas, who taught me, uh, I think it was one of my first film courses. I had made some films in high school, but somehow stepping up in Roger's class, it sort of was on to another level. Peggy's amazing to work with. Um, she cannot be flustered. She is cool as a cucumber and never loses that kind of folksy Midwestern thing that really works. People fall for it. The footage my dad shot, we actually used in one of my movies in uh, Home for the Holidays. There are clips from, um, there's a beautiful, very touching scene at the end of the movie where Holly Hunter and her father in the movie, Charles Durney, are watching movies from them as kids, and that's our footage. And it's my little sister, Lori, um, walking around and being sort of bandied about by a football helmet that's way too big for her. I have known Peggy Reisky since we were both 13 years old. We both had extremely long, stick-straight hair, parted directly down the middle. Peggy liked to flip hers from side to side. And the very first memory that I have of her is when she and her friend, Mary Jo Shaney, profoundly beat me and one of my friends at foosball. Through the years, Peggy and I have been uh, roommates, co-workers, traveling companions, definitely friends, and most definitely family. I think what makes Peggy stand out from her peers is her creativity, her drive, and her perseverance. I think the thing that makes Peggy stand out the most is not actually the streak of color in her hair, although many will say that. Um, it's, it's really her honesty. Um, I think that she has such integrity and that's really been the force of her career. The things that she's chosen, the movies she loves, and um, that little bit of, of of authenticity that really comes through all of her work. Back in 1994, I was on a break between movies, and I'd actually gone to the theater one night at Old La Mama downtown, and I saw this one-man show that was so wonderful, and within it was this five-minute monologue about this 13-year-old kid who loves Diana Ross and loves musical theater and hasn't figured out quite what that's adding up to. I decided I had a wonderful friend of mine and colleague, Randy Stone, who had been the executive producer on uh, Jody's Little Man Tate. He was in New York. He's a wonderful casting director. He did all this stuff for Fox, X-Files, all these great shows. Anyway, he came in to see the show, felt the same way, walked out, and went, we got to make a movie out of this. And so we went, OK, we'll make a short film. Like, how hard can that be? Um, well, you know, we wound up having to call in every favor in the book, but we did uh, work with James, who had never written for a film before, and wound up making this 18-minute film that went on to win an Academy Award. Peggy said that she was going to direct a short film, and could I edit it? And she had absolutely no money, and it's the only time I've ever worked for free in my life that I've ever done any professional job for free. But she was such a good friend, and this was Trevor, this was the short film Trevor, which was, you know, I read the script, I saw what she was up to, and I said, absolutely, and I just dropped everything. And spent about a month cutting that film with her, and of course it won the Oscar, and, and it went on to be the, you know, the genesis of the Trevor Project. But its real legacy is this, is that it led to the creation of the Trevor Project, which is an organization I founded with uh, James and Randy, that was set up to help kids that are facing the same kind of crisis that our Leave in the Movie was. It has literally saved countless lives. Uh, we set it up as a 24-hour crisis line uh, for kids who were, you know, GLBTQ uh, and thinking about taking their life. Peggy, congratulations. 
you deserve every minute of it. You are indeed distinguished, and uh, I'm very proud of you, and I love you very much. Pegeen, I am watching you live. I have enjoyed watching your many, many, many successes and your occasional downs. And I have to say, I don't think I'll ever forget that time you got that perm that made you look like a poodle. It happens. But Pegeen, I am enjoying watching you live your life. You are an amazing woman on a brilliant adventure, and I'm honored to be on it with you. I'm giving you a thumbs up. I love you.